that I would want to do is create some sparks. I run the Van de Graaff, and I will approach it with this small sphere, small radius, and as I come closer and closer, the electric field will build up here, and then I would predict that if sparks fly over, that they will go between the Van de Graaff and this, uh, this sphere. The sphere is grounded, and so any current that will flow will flow not through Walter Lewin, but will go through the ground. So there's no danger that anything will happen to me, at least not yet. You already hear some cracking noise. That means there are already sparks flying around inside there. It's very hard to avoid. There are always some sharp edges in there that we cannot remove. This is not an ideal instrument. But I still think I will be able to show you some sparks by coming closer. There we go. So what you think is only one spark may well be several like these return strokes the way I described with lightning. So what you're seeing here now is that the electric field locally has become larger than three million volts per meter and then you go into this discharge phenomenon that we described and that gives you then, that gives you the lightning. What I will do now is I would like you to experience, although may not be so fascinating for you, to experience a corona discharge between a very sharp point that I have here, extremely sharp, and the Van de Graaff. And the only way that I can convince you that there is indeed going to be a discharge between this point and the Van de Graaff is by approaching the Van de Graaff and this cracking noise that you hear now will disappear. And the reason why it will disappear is that if I get a corona discharge between the tip and the Van de Graaff, it will drain current, it will lower the potential, and so that cracking noise will disappear. So the sparks which are now flying over will not fly over anymore. You will not be able to see the light. It's, there's too much light here, although I can probably see at the tip here this blue light. So I'm going to approach the Van de Graaff now. It's almost as if I had a lightning rod and I'm not worried at all because if any current starts flowing it goes through this rod which is like a lightning rod to the earth. So I'm not worried at all. I just am very brave, very courageous approaching the, the Van de Graaff and I want you to listen to that cracking noise. That cracking noise will disappear when I'm going to be draw a current through this sharp point. Oh boy, there I go. And the cracking stops. And I can actually see here some glowing discharge, bluish. It will be impossible for you to see. I can come closer, I'm not worried. And so I'm draining charge now of the Van de Graaff, thereby lowering the potential of the Van de Graaff. And so these crazy sparks that occur here can no longer occur, but now they will. Can you hear them? And now you can't. If I were crazy, then I would develop a corona discharge between the Van de Graaff and myself. One way I could do that is by approaching with my fingertips, as I mentioned earlier, but that may be a little bit too dangerous because I may draw a spark, which is the last thing that I would want today. However, a coronal discharge using these tinsels may be less dangerous. So I get a continuous flow of current, which now unfortunately doesn't go through the lightning rod, but now it goes straight through my body. And I can assure you that I can feel that. It's probably a very low current. It may be only a few microamperes, but it's not funny. It's not pleasant. <laughs> but anything for my students, what the hell. So there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see the tinsels? I'm now in a corona discharge and I feel the current through my fingers. It's a continuous discharge now. This is St. Elmo's fire. You can't see. Ah, that was a spark. 
Boy, you got something for your $27,000. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So you sold both Corona Discharge and you sold Sparks. Boy, you were luckier than the, than the first class, by the way. <laughs> Clearly, lightning can be dangerous. Lightning can cause a fire. It can excite.